advertising, photography, and architecture. In 2012, William founded Institute in C2. In C2. Now an award-winning mid-sized El Paso firm with an architectural staff of eight. William introduced Pachacucha Nights in El Paso with a team assembled from friends throughout the local design community. Over the subsequent years, William has leveraged Pachacucha partnerships in the El Paso community to collaborate events across the national border with Juarez, Mexico. This year, Pachacucha Night El Paso is celebrating their 10th year until volume 20 this past, past month. William has presented at Pachacucha Nights in Buffalo, New York, Allen, Germany, and at the Mothership in Tokyo, Japan. Tonight, William presents on moving El Paso forward. Thank you, and greetings from Patakuta, El Paso. Tonight I'm representing a group of my colleagues uh, from AIA El Paso. We hope to bring a future, many in the crowd tonight? We hope to bring a future Texas architect convention to El Paso, and so we'd like to share with you a little bit about what's going on in El Paso. So in El Paso, we prefer to think of the idea of building bridges instead of border walls, connecting with our community across the river. Juarez. This is a view of the International Bridge to Juarez from where my office building is in downtown. And uh, this here, a beautiful group of people, is my architectural practice from that building in downtown. And we've been lucky to play a part of a much greater story of the renaissance in downtown which is happening in El Paso which we hope to be able to share with you soon. This renaissance began about a decade ago with our friends at the El Paso Community Foundation with the renovation of the Plaza Theater which they saved from demolition, restored to its historic beauty and gave back to the community and now it hosts uh, the world's largest uh, classic film festival every summer. And a few years ago, uh, our office in situ had the opportunity to renovate this building, historic renovation for the city of El Paso, which was part of a larger project to move city offices from our old city hall into new city offices around town into several buildings, and this was one of them. And this was so that we could implode our city hall. You might ask, how can we blow up our city hall? Well, it takes a group of civic-minded leaders to come together to try to work together to bring good things to your city and, and improve the quality of life. And in this case, we needed to clear the site to make room for a new ballpark. <laughs> and now our AAA minor league baseball team, the Chihuahuas, play evening games throughout the summer and activate our downtown with life in the process. So... A couple of years ago, we also finished in downtown another project that was the El Paso, it was led by the Community Foundation of El Paso, and that was the Art Space Lofts, it was the first major new uh, multifamily project in downtown and brought 51 affordable housing units for artists in the core of downtown and a mixed use mid rise facility. And the Community Foundation is continuing their. Uh, continuing their legacy of contributing to the quality of life and improving our downtown by bringing a new children's museum built to downtown. They ran an international design competition and recently announced that the uh, Norwegian firm Snowheda will lead that design. Um, my firm in situ uh, had the opportunity to design this natatorium for the west side of El Paso, part of the larger quality of life project across the city. And, uh, this now frames a beautiful view of our Franklin Mountains from the west side of El Paso for the swimmers and spectators. And on the heels of that, we are uh, now working with Perkins and Will to build uh, on the east side of town an even larger natatorium, recreation center, and recreational aquatic center that's just phase one of a multi-phase project to improve, to improve the quality of life in, in the east <coughs> side of El Paso. Perkins and Will is also working in town, and this is a project uh, on this is project one of two research facilities that are going up in El Paso. 
this one an interdisciplinary research building at the University of Texas at El Paso uh, that will offer uh, the ability for collaborative research space from across the university. Project two is on the Texas Tech University Medical Center campus, a medical science research building, which is going up um, that will anchor that campus and also be the home for a future dental school in the future. And our city is preparing to host major conventions with the addition and renovations of major hotels in downtown, including the historic Hotel Paso del Norte that will reopen next year as a Marriott autograph collection offering 350 guest rooms and 36,000 square feet of meeting rooms across from our convention center. And the Restored Plaza Hotel will be opening in 2019 as well, originally completing, completed in 1930 by Conrad Hilton. The hotel will offer 130 rooms and amazing panoramic views from the rooftop bar that occupies the penthouse that was once occupied, that was once lived in by Elizabeth Taylor. We also have been busy recreating and bringing back to the streets our historic streetcars that actually go into active service tomorrow. And they will connect our downtown and our international bridge with our university neighborhood. And uh, a renovated San Jacinto Plaza at the center of our downtown is now a destination point which people from across the city come to play in uh, on, a, on a daily and weekly basis. The focal point of this park at the center is a sculpture of, our, of the Lagartos, which uh, originally uh, uh, called that park home, and that was by El Paso sculptor Luis Jimenez. And we started Pachachka Nights in El Paso 10 years ago, also with the friends of, uh, friends of ours at the Community Foundation, and now hostess in this space, just across the street from San Jacinto Plaza. And we have now celebrated three years of partnerships with our uh, friends in uh, Pachachka Night in Juarez, where we host a two-day event. We bring people from both sides of the border together to present at two days of events. And I'll close with our beautiful Franklin Mountains in the middle of our city where each March we host a poppy festival that coincides with the explosion of the golden poppies that flank at the mountainside. That's our city of El Paso. Please support our efforts to bring a future Texas Architect Convention back to El Paso after many years. And we hope to see you there. And hope to see you there.